Please remain standing for the presentation of colors of the Charlotte County Honor Guard and the singing of the national anthem by Kiara Everly of the Lee County Sheriff's Office. Let's give a round of applause for the Charlotte County Honor Guard and Kia Rivera. Thank you, dignitaries, family, friends, co workers, for being a part of this intimate ceremony to honor Deputy First Class Christopher Taylor of the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office, who tragically was killed in line of duty while serving the community that he swore to protect. As an employee of the Academy, I have the distinct honor and privilege to pass by this memorial courtyard on, on a daily basis and reflect on the names on these stones who have served our communities and who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. This courtyard serves as a beacon of remembrance, and today, with a heavy heart, we add Chris to the list of our local heroes forever etched in our stones on these grounds. At this time, I'd like to call Sheriff Bill Pamell up from the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office to say a few words. Good morning. Thank you all for coming out here today in memory and in honor of Chris. We often say we will remember and never forget the sacrifices of those who gave all. And I believe we are all true to our word. We won't forget, we don't forget. But through observances like today, who honor Chris and his fallen brothers and sisters, not only keeps them fresh in our minds, our thoughts, and our prayers, but leaves us his memory embedded in stone within the courtyard of this academy. So not only are we reminded of their selflessness, of their sacrifice, but those future law enforcement officers who walk these halls for generations to come. Their families and friends who come to celebrate the graduating classes here will also come to know Deputy First Class Christopher Taylor. So yes, we will always remember and never forget, but we will forever miss him. There's an old Eskimo legend that says perhaps they are not stars in the sky, but rather openings where our loved ones shine down to let us know they are happy. So when you look up at the night sky, try to envision that. They are not gone, but just moved on to a better place until we meet again. 
On behalf of Mr. and Mrs. Taylor, the entire Taylor family, Chris's fiance Maddie, and on the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office family, I want to thank you all for being here today and remembering. Be strong, be safe, and never quit. And may God bless all of you. Thank you, Sheriff Purnell. And now I'd like to ask for the Charlotte County on guard, along with Sheriff Purnell, to escort the family members up for the unveiling of Chris Taylor's memorial brick. Lights and drums ready, going home. By the rules, slow march. At this time, I'd like to call it Christopher T. Schmidt, uncle to Christopher Taylor, to say a few words. Good 
Good morning, glad y'all made it. My name is Chris. Uh, Christopher was my nephew, and I'm from Kansas, and he'd come down to visit us when he was like 15, 16 years old. And uh, he was a shy kid, you know, and always usually kept to himself and uh, really didn't say much. But he came down to learn how to uh, play flooring. My brother did flooring, so he worked for my brother and learned. And, if he ever had any questions, he always asked. He was never afraid to ask questions. And we always told him, if you, if you don't know something, ask the question. Because there ain't no question that's stupid. Everybody wants to learn. And he was always willing to learn. So uh, I just want you to know that uh, he was a good kid, always shy. Then they finally kind of broke out of that, you know, the older he got. And he was always, uh, a great young man. But anyway, I'd like to read to you, uh, something to you real quick. It's uh, just a little, just a little verse. It says, "Don't stress yourself out. Whatever makes you overthink, give it to God. Trust His timing and be and be at peace. Hard times don't last. Better days are coming with God's mercy and grace. And for all the new recruits over here." Uh, Today's world is totally different from when we were growing up, when I was growing up as a kid, and even as a young adult, and things are a lot worse, road rage, I mean, shootings and killings, that never happened when I was younger, and you all are going to have to deal with that now, domestic violence, and I mean, so what all, all I got to say is, no matter where you're at, on duty, off duty, always watch your back, because you never know if someone's out there hunting you down or looking for you because you made them mad or someone in, in the sheriff's department made them mad. And there's always somebody out there that's looking to get an officer. Um, it's bad that Christopher passed the way he did and because uh, he was a great man and he would have been an awesome uh, state trooper um, and he would have had his career doing this. And I got a son that lives in Branson, Missouri. He is a state trooper as well. So, um, and then I did two, two uh, services, tours in Iraq. And I know what it's like, you know, to have to watch your back because I have PTSD really bad. And I'm, I don't usually go to places, big crowds. So that's gonna affect people that have not seen the things that you all over there are gonna see. Anyway, um, I want to thank everybody for being here, supporting the Taylor family and Christopher's mom and, and parents, grandparents and his sister, and also Maddie. And uh, again, thank you very much and y'all be safe out there. At this time, I'd like to call Senior Director Todd Everly back up to say some closing remarks. In closing, we would like to conclude this program with a reflection, prayer for the fallen police officers. Board of all, you came to earth to show us what true love looks like. You taught us that love was about sacrifice, virtue, virtue, and service. You taught us that love means to lay down your life for one another. For fallen police officers everywhere, we thank you for your selfish example of courage and valor. We ask that you bless and keep the families and friends of these fallen officers safe. Wipe every tear from their eyes, Lord. Help them to heal and to move forward in the way that honors their memory. Blessed are the peacekeepers. They will be called the sons of God. Amen. Pipes and drums ready! Amazing Grace! Solo! Pipes! Pipes and drums! Walk off! From the bag!
This concludes our bricklaying ceremony to honor Deputy First Class Christopher Taylor of the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office. I want to thank everybody for attending, family, friends, dignitaries, co-workers, and academy recruits and students for being a part of this today. Be safe.